What's up, YouTube family? So it's been a minute since I like posted a video and edited it and not streamed. So the reason today is because this video, if I would have streamed it, it would have been mad long. But today I am cooking soul food. So on the menu, we have baked ham. We have some dressing, collard greens, candied yams, and mac and cheese. And I might do some cornbread. And for dessert, we have peach cobbler. So if you guys are interested to see my recipes on how I cook my soul food, stay tuned. Tune in. If you ever subscribe, subscribe. Like this video. Okay, so I've already been prepping to like save time. I cut up one onion. I cut up one bell pepper. And then here we have our smoked turkey necks that's gonna go in the greens. I did buy pre-cut greens, you guys. I did not feel like cutting up greens, but we're still gonna rinse them off. And then I, here I have um, a ham. It is eight pounds. And then here we have our turkey leg quarters. I have four of them that I've rinsed in salt and vinegar. And that's what we are going to use for our dressing. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is in this pot, I am going to fill this pot with water for the turkey leg quarters. And then in my silver pot, I'm gonna fill this pot with water for my collard greens. So let's go ahead and fill it up. I'm gonna bring my chicken over here so I can drop them in the lead quarter, you guys. And I have four of them. And we're just gonna boil this until the meat falls off the bone. And I'm only putting enough water in here to cover it because I'm going to use the water that's gonna make the broth basically for my dressing. So boiling the water is gonna make basically like homemade chicken broth and I'm gonna put my heat on high and just let that boil. So in this pot, we're gonna fill this pot right here with water. And I'm gonna start dropping my smoked turkey neck bones in there. And I'm putting all of them in here because we want a lot of meat. And I eat these, um, even when the greens are gone, they just taste good. So that's enough water. I didn't even fill the pot half, uh, halfway, you guys. I'll show you guys how much water I put in. Let me wash my hands. So here are the turkey leg quarters. And like I said, I just filled it enough to cover the chicken. And here's my pot with my smoked turkey necks. And I'm going to start this. Oh, shit. That hurt my ears. And start letting this one boil. Okay. And once that comes to a boil, I'm going to put my greens in there and my onion, bell pepper and everything. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna start preparing my dressing by making my cornbread. And I use cornmeal. Um, some people use Jiffy, but I think Jiffy is already sweet like cake. And I don't like my dressing super sweet, okay? So we're gonna use cornmeal. Let's get a bowl. One day, I'm gonna measure this stuff out so I can know actually how much I'm using. But today, we're just gonna put it in here and eyeball it. I don't never measure, you guys. And also, if you don't have Jiffy, just get you some cornmeal, some self-rising cornmeal, and add some sugar. And there go you some Jiffy. <laughs> it's the same thing. So I'm going to put my cornmeal in here. And I'm just going to eyeball it. So I'm going to show you guys the pan I'm using for my dressing. I'm using this pan for the dressing. So I'm making enough to put that in there. So you can see how much cornmeal I have in here in this big bowl. Okay, so I'm going to put about two eggs in here. Amir said, hey, y'all. And it's still early in the morning. That's why we in pajamas and I'm in my cooking sundress. This sundress, I've had this since like 2017 and now it's dedicated to when I just want to walk around the house. <laughs> two eggs. And then we're going to put some milk in here. And I need some oil, so let me grab the oil. And we're gonna put some oil in here. Can I, is that eggs? Yes, baby. Wait, hey, this is the lion bed. You do? Yeah. What do you make? He, he made, he made it. Hmm? He, he made it the same day as you. Oh, really? So first, so first is my stud. I watch a YouTube. Okay. No, no, I watch a video. Oh, 
the best one. I need some more milk. I don't get the milk. You can't get that one, but it's at top. I need some more milk, y'all. It's about like a big boy, Mm -hmm. that, means, that, that milk smells good. It do? Yeah, I, don't I like, like milk. I don't like how milk smells. Need help? No, baby. Because look, that got stuck. <laughs> mm. All right, y'all. I'm not just whisking this until it's a good texture. Mm. I still need to add a little bit more milk. It's a lot of cornmeal, so I'm going to add one more egg also. So I did three eggs. What is that? What is that yellow thing? So a tad bit more. What is that Amira, thing? give me the silver pan. It's to call the yolk. Wait, do, do, do the bowl is supposed to be white? When you cook them. <clears throat> but, but, why did the, but, but why is it the yolk? Um, That's the yellow part that you don't like to eat. I do right now. Okay, so I'm gonna put some butter. Mom, hmm? why why is the yolk that makes the yellow the white thing? Because the white thing is clear, and then when you cook it, it turns white. Okay, so I'm gonna add the butter. So I'm gonna add the butter to the pan and stick it in the oven. If y'all watch my video where I cook, I cook something I can't remember. But uh, once the butter melts, I basically spread it around and I put the butter into this batter and I'm gonna pour it all in here. Take some butter. And I'm getting a good chunk of it, y'all. So here is my chunk of butter, okay? I don't know how much that is. It's probably about four tablespoons, but we're gonna put it in the oven. All right, butter is melted. Let's move it around a little bit and pour the access in here. Set this to the side. Stir that up in there. And I ain't add nothing else to this cornbread because all the flavor gonna come from um, the other stuff I'm gonna add to it. We just need it as our, our breading base for our dressing. And I'm gonna put this back in the pan and I'm cooking it at 350, y'all. 350. You a car? Yeah. I see, don't bump into nothing, car. shake it a little bit just to even it out and this cornbread is going to rise you guys it is self-rising so it's going to rise more than what you see but bam let's put her in the oven 350 y'all see all of this foam coming off the kitchen so anytime i boil some meat particularly chicken and, and especially pork like you want to skim that off take you a spoon and get all of that out of there. We don't want that. We want it to be clear broth, okay? So that's how we eliminate that. It's nasty. You see that? So I skipped most of it off. I'm gonna let it boil some more. Try to get this one down in there because it's, yeah, it's turning that way. And they are boiling. No need to scam over here. Yes, baby. So my greens have been rinsed and been soaking and I'm gonna put them in the pot now. Um, and let these soak in the turkey neck juice. Get that flavor in there. And y'all, I'm doing it like this because I'm scared to dump it and I'm gonna waste it and I don't want it to get in the fire and stuff down there for the gas stove cut on it. Huh, baby? And 
y'all don't judge me. Everybody cook different, so your recipe is different. If your auntie, grandma, me, ma cook different, more power to it. <laughs> but don't nobody complain about how I cook my stuff, so be nice. You know how y'all like to get down in that comment section. Check on the bread. Bread is not done, y'all. Cheese rising though. Okay, so just do a little pokey poke. Now, I'm gonna add some onions. I'm gonna back, add about half of the onions in here. And I cut these onions up like dumb small. But they're gonna, they gonna be tender anyway. And you ain't even gonna feel no crunch, of course, once they boil in here. So we just adding that for flavor. And I cut them so small because we got picky eaters and they, they notice it's in there or I can tell it's in there all of a sudden they don't want to eat it. No, y'all got folks like that in y'all family. And I'm going to add half of the bell pepper that I cut up. And we're just adding that for flavor. So y'all, we, we ain't got no vinegar. So what I'm going to do is uh, the vinegar that's been in this pepper sauce soaking, I'm going to pour it in there because it's not spicy yet. So I'm just going to take some and pour it in there. And make sure pepper don't fall in there with it. And I promise y'all it's not spicy. And let's mix all of this up. Just mix it in there. And then I'm gonna put the lid on and let it do what it do and just leave her alone. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Let me add some seasonings too, hold on. We ain't done yet. Don't put the lid on her yet. Huh, baby? So I just added some salt and garlic powder to that. And I put the lid on and we're gonna let it boil because it's gonna take a little minute. Our chicken is still boiling. Cornbread is still cooking and it smells good so I'll be back in a second with the rest of the stuff and we're gonna finish prepping this food. Cornbread is done, you guys. So I am going to let it cool off and then break it up. And once the chicken is done and it's peeling and and once the chicken is done and I peel all the chicken pieces off, we are going to make our dressing. Okay guys, so I'm finna break my cornbread up now and I'm just taking it and crumbling it into some pieces like this well not pieces but basically crumbling it up and it ain't gotta be perfect and it got a nice yellow color it's a good texture as y'all can see show y'all the texture see that mm -hmm. it's gonna absorb all these juices i'm gonna put in here i honestly had dressed in so many different ways uh, I'm not real big on like the texture because like some people in my family make it like more of a dry way and some people make it more of like a moist way. I think mine's be kind of in between. It don't be dry, but it don't be like wet moist. So y'all will see in the end. It all determines how much broth I put in here and some of the other ingredients that I will be adding in. I wonder who came up with dressing like what what kind of drugs were you on and what type of hunger was you to even come up with this recipe because wow what's up baby I think hold on baby i'm cooking also drop in the comment section what do you put in your dressing i want to hear y'all's ingredients don't be bashing my um dressing. Don't bash it till you taste it. Every time I make a pan, the whole thing be gone. I thought that was fruit coming. He playing Call of Duty, y'all. He in that game. He ain't stun me right now. He would have been came in this camera. So I got two pans because once I break the cornbread up and I add everything to it, it's gonna like be very full. So um, I have two pans just in case. I need to do two pans and we like dressing dressing is something i eat for days and we eat it with cranberry sauce um, i do cranberry sauce and i have a turkey gravy just a turkey gravy pack i don't know how to make giblet gravy y'all i ain't i ain't i ain't got that i ain't that i ain't got that in me yet <laughs> give me about another 15 years i had that giblet gravy down but you i need some more training on that one 
And I ain't got no turkey either. Normally, like when my auntie and them make a giblet gravy, they take how the turkey got the stuff inside. When you buy it, they take that. It was hot in the center. I couldn't stick my hand in there. This is what we looking like, okay? Hey, dude. Chicken is tender, y'all. It is tender. It is pulling apart. We gotta let that cool off because that shit is gonna be so hot trying to break it off, okay? So I'm gonna let that cool off. And let me show you guys the broth it made, basically. Y'all see, I skimmed all that stuff off. We got a little bit more floaties that I'm gonna get up out of there. And our greens are boiling. The turkey neck meat gonna come break off on there and we just gonna let this do what it do. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit so we can do more of a simmer than a boil. So while all that's doing that, let's finish this dressing up. So boom, we got our cornbread broken up. Let's go ahead and mix this other stuff in. I need a big bowl. Okay, so I have my onion and bell pepper cut up that y'all already saw. I have a can of cream of celery and a can of cream of chicken. And then we got our chicken pieces over there. What you clapping for? I'm recording, yes sir. Can I help you? Uh-uh, baby, it's hot. You got it? I got it, thank you so much. You're such, you're, you're such a gentleman. You are such a gentleman. Let me go get a glove, you guys, because there's a couple pieces in there I need to break up. And I'm gonna put all four of them chicken meats, I'm gonna put all of them in here, y'all, because I like my dressing with a lot of chicken, a lot of meat. And it's some pieces that was on the bottom that I didn't get too good enough, so I'm just breaking those pieces up. I don't know. I don't know, baby. Huh? Whew. It is? I'm out of breath, y'all. All right. What? You can tell I'm out of breath? How can you tell? How you know I'm out of breath? Cause what? Cause I'm talking too much? Oh really? All right, you guys. So I'm gonna add these bell peppers in here. All of them. And uh, I think one of my aunties, when she make her dressing, she don't add no veggies and it still be good. And now I'm adding my onions. Up, boop, boop. Get out a little stir. See how the see how I look. Yep, that looks good. Oh my mama, on oh my hood. I look fly. I look good. But I told y'all on my live the other day. When I say something in it, <laughs> I gotta I gotta say it out loud. <laughs> Touch my swag. Wish you could. Hey, that song used to bop though. I look good on oh, my mm -mm -mm. When I was in the army, they used to play that song in the club. That song and that uh, drop it low, girl, drop it, drop it low, girl. That that song, that Esther Dean and that um, it's a, it was it was a Trey song song. I can't remember what it was, but woo, when them songs came on, downtown Savannah when I was in the army, me and my girls just go party. That was my song. That was that was my song. That was that song I heard. If I was sitting down, I'm going to get up. I'm finna put my drink down. I'm finna go on a dance floor. Or stand on some furniture. Oh, I'm you are? Let me see. Good job. Look at you snapping. You snapping? You whistling? What else can you do that I don't what else you don't learn than you can do? I don't know what that was, dude. <laughs> I don't know what that was, son. We gotta break this chicken up. I need one more glove. Let me go get it real quick. 
So we don't want the fat pieces. Like this piece, I ain't worried about that. I need something to put this in. Stick in this bowl. Oh, the, this bowl. Like the skin. Get rid of that. Don't put the skin in there, y'all. Don't put that in there. I like this song. I know, baby, but it can't be on YouTube. I'll get in trouble. I gotta get my chair. You go. I mean, bring mommy the white chair. I feel out of breath. No, no, it's a movie. Okay, wait, is this a movie? Yes, but it's playing music. I can't YouTube while I'm recording. I can't play no music. That's why I asked you to cut it off while you're playing the game. And the chicken is cooked. No raw chicken, y'all. We don't want no pink. Okay, no pink. And just break that up. And I ain't breaking it up into pieces yet. We just want to get the meat off the bone right now. I just want to cut it off. Thank you, baby. Yes. I don't want to show right now, baby. I'm, I'm talking to the camera. Why am I not looking at TV? What? What, Brandon? Oh. Auntie Joyce is not going to head over here soon. So they head out. Where are you head out? They're going to Colorado. Are they here? Mm-hmm. No. That's why Eric meet Uncle Bill halfway to get boss. Oh, Eric left? Yeah, he left early this morning. Where did he went? He meet Uncle Bill halfway to get boss. Where? I don't know. Whatever halfway is from here to where Uncle Bill lives. That's so sticky. I just bought it for the dressing. Ain't even in mood day, y'all. <laughs> Ain't on cap. Bro went through it, y'all. He just got his car back from the engine messing up. What, what was messed up on it, Brandon? Okay. I think like the engine was messed up, y'all, or something. And he had to pay like three bands oh! just to get that fixed. And then out yesterday, I don't know what happened, but allegedly somebody hit him. And now his whole driver's side is like fucked up. So uh, he, he definitely in his feelings, cause he literally just got his car back. Like literally, he ain't even had it. He ain't even had it back a whole week yet, y'all. So I feel for him. Like damn, bro. I was like, what was you out there doing? But he'll be all right. Gotta learn how to sit down somewhere. Stop hanging out so much. All right, you guys. I'm gonna finish peeling this. Y'all don't need to see me peel all these chickens. Hey, chicken, and I'll be right back. Mm. Alright, y'all, let's start shredding this chicken. You was at work, and I was at work doing yeah. And I'm like shredding it into little bitty pieces. It's cooled yeah, off right. now. No, I'm not it's not gonna be chunky. I'm sure like I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's just breaking up in my hand like that. My hands hurt, y'all, literally, from just doing this in between this and the cornbread. <clears throat> but it's gonna get done. Hey, Who will, me? You all right? No. <laughs> What's wrong? No. <laughs> okay. You sure? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you want one of these pieces of chicken? I do. Stick your hand over there and get a piece. Yard. One piece. Yeah, okay, no more. You want some? You want? You want some more of the beans and hot dogs we had yesterday? Okay. If you get hungry, you can snack on that because this is for dinner. This ain't gonna be done yet, baby. Now I got so much shit to pay for, bro. Adulthood, bro. This shit sucks. Imagine if you still was still in Atlanta, living in an apartment, paying rent and bills. Bro. You'll be hurting, bro. Hurt, man. Hurt, bro. Hurt at work. I'll be struggling. <laughs> yeah, true. Huh, baby? I see. Oh shit. I see. And we're just breaking it down, Ooh. down. Okay. Your thumbs is real close to my face. <laughs> we're just breaking this chicken down, y'all. 
I ain't gonna lie, dressing it tastes so good, but this shit takes so much work. Unless I'm just doing it the hard way. I need me like a food a food chopper or something. What's up? What's up, baby? I need to do some What's that? Cornbread? Yes, baby. Chicken and cornbread. Chicken and cornbread. Some onions and bell peppers. Real you ain't gonna taste it. You ain't gonna taste it, Amir. Don't even start that. I don't like them. Told y'all. Okay, you guys. So I didn't use all the chicken, but this is what it looked like so far. And I'm just like mixing it up to see. You mad loud, yo. I'm just mixing it up right now, and it smells good just like this. So let's add the extra stuff. Okay, so here is the cream of chicken, and this is just the condensed soup. So we're going to add that in here. <clears throat> and y'all, one thing I do, and it may sound nasty, but you got to remember, everything in here, nothing in here is raw. One thing I do do, one thing I do do is taste my dressing before I put it in the oven. Just to see, I'll get like a little spoonful and taste it. It'd be a weird ass texture, but that's just my little preference to make sure it tastes good. Then I have one can of cream of celery. And then the chicken broth that I made from boiling chicken, that's what I use to determine my wetness and my moisture, if that makes sense. These two cans, I just want to add that, that flavor. Okay. And all that bread is going to end up soaking this up. So I'm just going to give this a good stir. Nice, good stir. Amir, you want some more chicken to eat on? You want another piece? <laughs> chicken don't got no flavor, do it? I know, baby. So it's still dry, y'all. We cannot bake it like this, okay? Got to add that moisture from that um from that chicken broth. You all right? What you in there coughing on? Drink you some water, baby. And I skimmed um I skimmed all those extra little pieces in there that was floating around. All right, so I'm just going to add a little scoop at a time, you guys. So I'm gonna put like two scoops in right now. And this is just a large soup spoon. And I'm gonna give it a stir. And you can already hear, hear that? It's more moist now. So I'm just gonna put it in until I get the desired consistency. Oh, MG, it smells so good. And I am gonna add some, um, some garlic powder to this, which I need to go get actually. Let me add that. <clears throat> so I'm adding some of McCormick's garlic powder and then I'm gonna add a little bit of Lowry's garlic salt this one to me is way stronger and it has the saltiness in it because I'm not going to add no extra salt just a little bit Do one more scoop Mix it up nice and good. And you guys remember, you added this cream of mushroom and cream of celery, which is like a condensed soup. So that's gonna add a little bit of moisture for you too. So ready to eat. I do need to add some salt. I do need some salt. Just a little bit. And I'm putting this in my pan. Spread it out. And we're gonna stick it in the oven. Let it bake. I might can just use one pan, you guys.
Yeah, we're gonna do one pan because this ain't gonna rise. It will have whatever level you put it at, that's what it's gonna cook at. <clears throat> and I got my oven on 350 still. I'm gonna put this in the oven. All right, you guys, next is our ham. Which this does not take as long because the green still got to cook, dressing got to cook. So you guys, y'all know how pans be, they get a little gunky. Oh, you got, oh, excuse me. There's this metal thing that goes in here. So the ham's not going to sit directly on it, okay? And let's open her up. All right. So here is our ham, and we're gonna put her in the oven as well. So the ham, I'm going to cook at 325, so I'm gonna put it in the bottom oven rack and um, go ahead and let it start cooking now. So it's about eight pounds, so it needs to cook for, it needs to cook for about an hour, um, about a good hour, over an hour, about an hour and 20 minutes. So it's 12.54 my time right now, y'all. Okay, so I got my oven going. Uh, it's 12.54 my time, so I'm gonna start the clock around 1 p.m. So about 2, about 2.20, I'm gonna take the ham out and I'm gonna glaze it. And by then, um, the other stuff should be done. And I'm gonna glaze it and let it cook some more so all that glazed juices can go into it. Let me open the oven first and then put the ham in. And I'm all right, you guys. I know I'm pregnant, but it's not heavy, okay? Let me wrap this in foil. Foil to um wrap my dressing up. Okay, you guys, so the meat is breaking off the turkey neck. See how I just take my spoon, I can break the meat off. So we're just gonna keep letting this boil. And I already tasted it a little bit and it is good. Nothing needs to be added. I didn't add too much of nothing. I mean, too much, it's, it's perfect, hell. It is good. Mama. Yes, baby. Okay, y'all, so for my glaze, I poured out the brown sugar contents in here. And it's literally just brown sugar and some spices. You can make this at home, okay? So it's probably got like cinnamon in it, nutmeg, et cetera. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Uh, I'm adding water. Donuts over there on the counter, babe. Mom? Yes. Mom at work. Eric um went to meet Uncle Bill halfway Mama, to get boss. What? Did you just put your oatmeal in your banana? Please? Yes. So you need to put them in the milk. And then put, huh? Yeah, I'm about to throw them in the milk. I, uh, he just pulled them out when he asked me can you have some. They've been in the pantry. <laughs> okay, so I put the the glaze packet came in. I added water and then I just added some syrup. I'm gonna add some more syrup. Yeah. I want it thick. What to do with them? <clears throat> Go play the game, bro. Go play the game. No. Y'all can see hi. <laughs> that is not brand new. Okay, this is what it looks like. 
And I'm gonna put this in between the layers. You put it, you can put that pack in the fridge, babe. Put it in the fridge. It's another pack in there. Okay, you guys, so I'm trying to save her the moment. My can of peaches. I put in here and I added some cinnamon and some brown sugar. And when this starts boiling, I'm gonna put it in the pan. Y'all know I don't know how to make mac and cheese, so we got a box of Velveeta going. Nobody cares. <laughs> here is my ham with my brown sugar and maple syrup glaze. And then there's my, uh oh. There's my Password. dressing in there. Dressing. And what's in here? Oh, my. <laughs> oh, the yams are in here. And I just added, I, in a pot, I did some melted butter, um, brown sugar, some vanilla extract, and some maple syrup. Extract. Extract. How are you supposed to say it? Extract. Oh. <laughs> family, y'all. Family. <laughs> All right, let's finish cooking, y'all. Get our gravy done because everything is almost done basically and then we're going to add one cup of water to this huh come is my laptop connected to it over there i can't find my white one for my laptop yeah he's um he's always been into dinosaurs yeah i thought it was going to be a phase but he's still like into them Okay, so stir this gravy up. And y'all, you just stir this till it gets thick. It's packed gravy, okay? So my peaches are boiling. I'm so I'm gonna pour them into this pan. Mm. And this is what we're gonna make our crust with. Mm-mm-mm. Look at that. I've literally been cooking all day. I make a lot of food today, Grandma. I wanted us to eat good today. I'm gonna put her in the oven and I'm gonna use the icing that it comes with once it comes out. Okay, you guys, we got our dressing. And I wish I had some marshmallows for this, but I did not. We have our candied yams, which this is my first time making this, so do not judge me. <laughs> <laughs> We have our ham, and there's juices at the bottom that I'm going to put on the pieces when people eat. Here's our turkey gravy, our collard greens, and the mac and cheese. And in the oven, I have the peach cobbler still cooking. So once that's done, which isn't going to take very long, I'm gonna drizzle it with icing. Okay, you guys, so if you notice watching the video, there's some snippets missing and that's because when I was making like the glaze for the ham and stuff and um that's because when my family came over one of my cousins who I haven't seen in a long time which was the one with the hair I got to talking and stuff and got kind of distracted so yeah that's what happened so right now I'm about to make fruit plate so you guys get to see me plate the food I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like it? What, yeah. baby? Okay, I'm coming, honey. Some mac and cheese. Here's my dressing, y'all. So you can see it. Yeah. It's good, Grandma. You have to yeah. try it. It's very good. That's, well, I know he was out, Grandma. He was out uh, with his friends, and it happened. Yeah, he have insurance. 
So I'm taking the sauce that's down here and putting it on the pieces of ham. So it can have that sweet taste. I'm gonna take Bay his plate and I'll be right back. I'm gonna make my plate. <laughs> You know you don't want no ham, baby? Huh? It's good. You do? Yeah. With some ham? Okay. Ham, ham. When you hungry, Grandma, eat. It's good. I cook a lot. Huh? You want it? You want a ham sandwich? Or do you want, uh, you want everything else too? No, just ham. Just ham sandwich? Okay. I thought I was recording y'all, so I took it out. And now I just stir the icing with a butter knife and I am spreading it across. And this looks and smells so good. And I already made fruit plate. Now I'm about to make me an Amir's plate. Amir's not very hungry. He just wants a ham sandwich. So I'm gonna put him some ham slices on a piece of bread because he ate earlier. And he's probably still full off of that. So, let's see what we got. Ooh wee, you guys. Is it good, babe? Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Real good. <laughs> Mine gone already. That meat looks pretty sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I let him eat early. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? It's good. Was the ham good, Amir? <clears throat> it was good? Yeah. Um, I don't know why, why good. I know, but I don't know why the words are on there. You gotta click the okay. The letter O and K. Mm. Dressing. Cranberry sauce and gravy on it. You talked to Uncle Bill today? You talked to Uncle Bill today? No. Eric, uh, I called Eric, he's four hours away. Oh. And him and Boss will be here. Yeah. Yep, Boss will be here for a week. Yeah. Yep, we got a babysit Boss. Take care of him. <laughs> Uncle Bill drive and meet Eric and he drive back home. And then they go get on airplane. Oh, okay. Okay. Eric left like six o'clock this morning. He leave really early. What? To meet Uncle Bill. He leave early to meet Uncle Bill. Go uh, meet him somewhere. Mm -hmm, to get boss. Oh. It is so good. It's a little burnt, but it's okay. Did he go by himself? Mm-hmm. Go by himself. Mm -hmm. I'm tired and full. That one's a beautiful, honey. 
Yep, that's his. Thank y'all for tuning in. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm finna go lay down. I'm tired, y'all. I've been cooking yeah, since. So you have to go lay down. Yeah, I, I started at 9 this morning. Yeah. I start cooking at 9. It's 4, 4.30. Nap time.